Hey everyone, welcome back in to our Friday night edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with once again talking about the, the weather today and uh, for the most part we had clouds move in, a few flakes of snow but nothing really to get excited about. Temperatures were chilly, a little chilly but they're going to warm up. In fact, we'll take a look at what's going on in our weather tonight. This is what we're talking about. The weekend is not looking all too bad. In fact, things are looking pretty good. We'll talk more about that later on. And as far as uh, the sky conditions, more clouds and flurries are expected tomorrow. And as uh, we look into the next week, boy, it's going to get warm. How warm? I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. You'll be very happy about that. Here's what's going on as far as our satellite and radar. You can see more energy moving across the southeastern sections of the state, bringing more widespread rain there. Also some showers moving across the Kenai Peninsula, the Prince William Sound area. A little of activity moving around the Fairbanks area, just little pockets of moisture here and there, but nothing really to get uh, any kind of accumulation at all. Over the uh, big map, you can see Juneau looking at 38 degrees and uh, no, mostly cloudy skies. Showers around the Ketchikan region. There are some uh, snow showers in the Anchorage Bowl and showery conditions around Kodiak, 34 degrees there. Over along the Aleutian chain, uh, not too bad at Colby, 31 degrees. Then the cool temperatures, once again, captured on the western side of the state with Bethel at 4 degrees, Nome at 5. Look at Barrow, 23 degrees below zero. Fort Yukon checking in at two degrees below zero. Well, the big news tonight is happening over the eastern half of the country. This monster storm, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. We have a new storm moving across the Pacific Northwest. That's going to bring more rain into uh, well, places like Northern California and Portland, Oregon. And then, of course, we are talking about this big monster storm here, really well defined, bringing with it heavy snow, incredible amounts of snow expected in the uh, next few days. In fact, you can look at here and see 24 to 36 inches. That's three feet, folks. That's a lot of snow from uh, Washington, D.C., all the way up to close to New York, and then uh, 12 to 24 inches in the New York area. So uh, they're going to be digging out for a, a few days after that. Now, the jet stream for next week is looking a little more promising. It's going to be bringing more warmer temperatures into the eastern side of the country. Well, the cool air will be trapped down across the central plains, and then more rain moving across the Pacific Northwest. Okay, our uh, kids' weather for tonight. Well, we're going to be talking about a weather fact because the kids are off uh, until Monday, at least, uh, for our purposes. The 2005, the entire state of Massachusetts was blasted by a blizzard with up to two feet of snow. So this time of year for a big snowstorm is not unusual. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather each night. Next week, the spotlight will be on the kids' from Two Rivers Elementary School. All right, here's our forecast for the northern sections for Alaska for tomorrow. Cloudy skies with fog in the Barrow area. Partly cloudy skies at Nome and light snow for Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, not a whole lot to talk about. Just occasional flurries for Fairbanks and Delta, but warmer and cloudy in the Healy area. And over the uh, southeastern sections, it looks like uh, rain diminishing for Juneau. And rain is likely for Ketchikan. 45 degrees at Ketchikan. Over the southwest part of the state, we'll be looking at rain and snow showers in Coal Bay, snow showers for Bethel and a little rain in the Kodiak region, while over the south central sections, snow showers at Anchorage, rain and snow in Homer, and a couple inches of snow expected for Valdez. It's a Friday night, time for our winter trails report from the folks at Beaver Sports. It should be a pretty good weekend for all the outdoor activities you have planned, although the slopes should be pretty icy, as will the cross country trails, and snow machiners still be uh, cautious about potential avalanche danger. And our uh, conditions right now at the airport, four degrees for the high today, the low last night, 14 below, currently three degrees, record high 37, 2008, 60 below in 1906, sunrise and sunset, five hours and 50 minutes of daylight, and our forecast for night cloudy and cold with occasional flurries, nine below for the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast, three below with warmer and continued cloudy conditions, some flurries. The good news is look at those temperatures for Sunday right on through Thursday. Temperatures warming up to close to 30 degrees by Thursday. No precipitation in the forecast, just cloudy skies. Overnight lows will also be warming up nicely up to 14 degrees by next Wednesday night and Thursday. And our picture for tonight, this one sent in by Andy Montoya, another great sunset in the Fairbanks area. As always, if you have a photograph to share, send it to photos at ktvf11.com.